I think if I had to pick one one particular opportunity or thing that came up, which really shaped my career, it was the uh, research internship uh, at uh, Portland State University at the Green Building Research Lab. That's that's really what drew my focus in, you know, from all of my studies into a few specific places um, that were applicable to the field that I'm in now. To an extent to, you know, my my father's work uh, and and my mother's work too, you know, were um, serving the community and, you know, help, helping people and doing doing science or doing what you do uh, for, for other people. Um, so, you know, I think uh, because of that, I consulting actually ended up being a good fit for me, but also working in a field uh, that, you know, I felt was important mattered a lot. Um, Cause you know, as an engineer, you could do a lot of different things. Uh, you could go into aerospace, machine design, different, lots of different fields. Um, but this, this was the one that felt right because it was actually, you know, doing something that I felt was important. So I think, I think that's both of those fears of influence drove me in this direction. When I was a teenager, a young teenager, uh, 14 or so, I thought journalism actually felt like more the direction that I wanted to go. Um, I considered a law, a law degree too. Um, but, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I did well, you know, in language disciplines uh, and uh, history and things like that. But uh, science was really what grabbed me, you know, as I was a senior, a junior and senior in high school. So I kind of pivoted, you know, in that in that direction. But still, it's so hard to really know what you want to do at that age. You know, you have to either be very certain or get very lucky to, to get where you want to be. Later, uh, when I was uh, in college, I continued that and, you know, wanting to make a career of some kind out of science, not really knowing what to do. I, I knew that I liked applied science and applied math. So engineering felt like a good fit um, because it is, by definition, applied physics, applied chemistry, applied math. So that uh, that seemed like it would be a, a good fit for me. Uh, and uh, I think that was a, the correct choice, although I kind of got lucky. Not everyone's that lucky. I uh, attended um, first a uh, community college. So at Portland Community College, um, I took my uh, first two years of uh, college curriculum. And uh, while I was there, I uh, found a couple of internships and I did chemistry research for a summer. In a later year, I took... Uh, uh, on another internship, and that was at Portland State University, and that was uh, an engineering research internship. Um, while I was there, I also studied uh, fluid mechanics and uh, um, heat transfer, and uh, that kind of developed into a, something I actually enjoyed. That's a, an applied part of mechanical engineering, um, and that helped me decide to go to Portland State University, where I took that internship. While I was at Portland State, after I had transferred from Portland Community College, I stumbled on another research internship there at the university, um, and uh, I was working in the Green Building Research Lab there, and that's that's where I really developed this understanding and knowledge of building science and energy efficiency. Uh, from there, I got offered a research fellowship, so that was to... Uh, study to get my master's degree um, and continue working uh, at the university doing engineering research. I got recruited out of my master's program to work at the current consulting firm that I'm at. So that's that's the general gist of how I got from there to here. There's lots of different kinds of internships that you could get in college uh, for engineers. Industry is the most popular one. So going to work for a big company like, I don't know, like Intel or Boeing or something something like that, right? It's very popular because those seem like obvious places to go work. But the downside is you're not usually doing research type work in those roles. You're, you know, reviewing plans and designs and things like that. So, so design and build is different, uh, is a different discipline altogether than research. Um, research is very specific. You know, you have to design an experiment, figure out what 
you're trying to figure out, right? And uh, you take some experience with that process to really get good at it. So I think research is probably a better way to get into consulting, you know, if that's something that you like. That being said, I have plenty of colleagues who have never done research at the college level. They they get into this after years of industry experience. But I think if you want to get into engineering consulting early on, research is really the way to go. Um, you know, if if you find something interesting uh, that you want to know more about, write it down. Go go find more about it later. Uh, it you know it's it's really easy to do research now. You can do research on your phone while you're commuting well hopefully not while driving but if you're on the bus or something you can do research there so uh fuel your curiosity it's it's good for you